As I am reading this book, Baruch, I keep getting a lot of little hints of the future of where we are at today. And the earlier chapters, 37, 38, and 39, 37, um, Baruch fell asleep in front of a, a water fountain. And he had a dream of this uh, mountains and this this uh, mountain lines and tree lines. And they all were destroyed. And there was one last tree that had a vine that went around it. And he didn't understand the vision that he saw. And so he awoke and then he asked uh, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, he say, what, what is this? And he answered and said unto me, Baruch, this is the interpretation of the vision which you have seen. And you have seen the great forest which lofty and rugged mountains surrounded. This is the word. Guys, the word of God is the Torah. Behold, the days come and this kingdom will be destroyed, which once destroyed Zion, and it will be subjected to that which comes after it. Moreover, that also again after a time will be destroyed and another, a third will arise and that also will be, will have dominion for its time and will be destroyed. And after these things, a fourth kingdom will arise whose power will be harsh and evil beyond these which were before it. And it will rule many times as the forests of the plain and it will hold fast for the times and will exalt itself more than the cedars of Lebanon. And by it, the truth will be hidden. And all those who are polluted with iniquity will flee to it as evil beasts flee and creep into the forest. And it will come to pass when the time of its consummation that it should fall, that it should fall has approached. Then the prince of, principate of my Mashiach, which is our Messiah, Mashiach is our Messiah, will be revealed, dogs say hi, which is like the fountain and the vine. And when it is revealed, it will root out the multitude of its hosts. And as touching that which you have seen, the lofty cedar which was left of that forest, and the fact that the vine spoke those words in which you did hear, this is the word. This is very important, guys. This is definitely talking about the Torah. And this is talking about a, a vision that he had where the word was, was, just, was basically hidden. It was hidden from everybody. And... That should not come as a shocker to you because you have 30 some thousand denominations of Christianity that have forsaken the mark of Yahuwah. The mark of Yahuwah is the Sabbath day. Besides you being marked with creation, your DNA is a mark of Yahuwah. And when you corrupt your DNA, when you change your DNA, DNA, you are no longer your creators. You are a, a subset of a lab product of Hasatan. And so when you are wondering if the laws of God are dead or if it, if you have been told when people tell you the laws of God are dead, you need to look at these people and you need to realize they have never read their Bible cover to cover. That's 99% of the Christians have never read their Bible from the front to the end in context without ever stopping. It, 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 they, they go to Paul, right? The Palestinians, they jump right to uh, Colossians, Ephesians, Philippians, all of these things. And, and any, anything that has to do with a Paul or the new school guys, they jump to. And their God essentially becomes Paul. It's very dangerous, guys. We need to read our Bible in context. You have to start from the very beginning. You need to start in Genesis because that is the beginning. And you need to go all the way to Revelations because it's not two books. There are not two, two sets of different times. This is one book that is going all the way through to the times that we are in today. And you have been deceived. You have been shown lies and you have been told that the laws of God are over when that is not the truth. I can show you a hundred places in the Bible where that is not the truth. All the extracurricular books out there, they, it tells you that the Torah is great. And when you reject the Torah, you are rejecting God. Just so you know, you may think that you're not, but Paul is not going to judge you. On judgment day, when you're begging to see the likes of Paul, Paul's going to be shaking his head at you, shaking his finger at you, going, man, you really screwed up. You took my words over the word of God, and you are now damned. You are now doomed. And you're not going to find mercy. There's not going to be mercy on this. All the Christians think it's mercy, 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 mercy. They can live like hellions, completely live like hellions. Every Christian I have met down here lives like hell. Like they don't care about other people. If you love your neighbor as yourself, that is not what the Christians, especially down here do or anywhere in the world, right? We've been deceived by a man-made religion and the Bible is very clear. Most do not make it. If you want to make it, this is the time you must pick up your Bible. This is a time you must seek the word of God because 
what I say doesn't matter. Nothing that I say matters. The only thing that matters is what the word of God says. And I am simply parroting what the word of God says so that you will go and seek the word of God because our time is short. Our time is extremely short. This generation isn't going to make it to the next generation, if you guys haven't noticed. There's some things going on in this world right now that are very sketchy at best. We don't have another generation, and that next generation isn't going to be human beings. Whatever comes out after this are not human beings. So this is the last generation of humans at the last time of our time alive. So choose wisely. Choose to stay who you will serve.